Hi, this is Chris Gold with Keeks on Tour, and this short video is about installing the Google Keyboard, Gboard, on an iPad, and it's the same process on an iPhone. So it's actually an app. So first you have to download the app. So you just search for Gboard, and there it is. I have had it before, so I have this little cloud icon. If you've never downloaded it, you will see Get there. It is free. When it is done, you could just open it, but all that does is take you to your settings, and I would rather you see how that works. There is the app right there, but to finish installing it, you need to go to your settings and under general there is keyboard and notice it says I have four keyboards one of them is Gboard so go into the settings for that and you do have to allow it full access Gboard can do a lot with with your typing and you do need to allow it now when you're at some place where you want to type, you need to make sure that you are using the Gboard, the Google keyboard. If not, if you don't see the multicolored G up in the upper left, then you long press on this little globe and you should see it there. You choose it. Now you're able to swipe. Now you can swipe. Once you have it installed, you may want to check its settings. And to do that, it's another long press on this globe button, and there's settings up at the top. So for example, under keyboard settings, there's a bunch of things. They're all on. And I notice that show number row is on. If you say, well, that usually takes up too much space, I want to turn that off. So now you see there are no numbers available at all. You would have to tap on that number button in order to get the numbers. But let's see what adding that number row does do. To get to settings, long press, settings, keyboard settings, and turn that show number row back on. And what is, it hasn't added a whole other row. It's just added them above those letters. So how do I type a 5? You just long press on the T, and it becomes a 5. Long press on the U, it becomes a 7, etc. So that's a little bit about going to the settings of Gboard.